God is really dealing with me today, and I don't think I saw that coming, like at all. So, but if you clicked on this video, you was probably thinking like, sis, you wilding. I'm not really wilding. God said it, and I laughed, okay? And so, during this time, and it's kind of like what I said in the earlier video today, like, okay, well, I'm going to just kick it with the homies. You come and get me when you ready, right? And obviously, when I said homies, I did meet my male friends, right? And um, me and Morgan was talking about it yesterday, like, why it seemed like, like, they don't act right unless... Like they think somebody else got your attention and all of that. And I know that's immaturity anyways, right? But we was talking about it and um, it's, that's not really what it is, okay? And so I've even told him like, you only be acting like that when you think somebody else got my attention. Like that's the only time you act like that. You don't, you don't be acting like that when you know I'm just in the house chilling, right? But it's when you think I'm entertaining something. It is, is, we can feel, it's not just a man, it's all humans, so women too. We can feel when somebody is too worried about us, when somebody is too focused on us, like, do you got anything else going on, you know? And um, I think it's funny that God given, given me this this week, because I think he gave it to him first. But you can tell when, like, what you do, how you move affects somebody entirely too much. And, and, and we've talked about this, and it was even like... I. Like, you need to love Jesus more than you love that person. Let's just say that, okay? Because um, what he told me was like, um, like like I put in the title because I haven't actually put the title yet. So I'm trying to remember what I'm calling the title. But the other man is going to get your kingdom spouse's attention. And it was really a play on words, right? Us are supposed to be running behind our kingdom spouse, not me running behind a man, not the man running behind me. You get what I'm saying? Now, you ladies running behind the man, not the man running behind you to that extent. It's supposed to be understood like, hey, like the feelings are here, the love is here, all of that, but we're not supposed to have each other in a death grip. That is not how this works, right? Like that's not how it works in the kingdom. We have free will, right? And you shouldn't have to run, chase behind nobody like that. And so when he says the other man is going to get your kingdom spouse's attention, it's going to be Jesus that tells the man like, hey, go get her now. It's going to be Jesus that's saying, hey, he coming to get you. Be ready. And also with that, when we wake up and we are focused on Jesus. We are prioritizing Jesus. Jesus is our portion, right? Because he's been giving me gyra. Your kingdom spouse spirit is aware of that. They know you're not out here like chasing behind them, like behind them all annoyingly, right? Like they know Jesus comes first. And with that, that mean, that mean your purpose come first, right? Like nobody want to feel like that in anybody's life because it's like, as soon as I mess up, you get what I'm saying? And, and what he was telling me was like, um, like your happiness cannot, your happiness, and I don't mean God, I mean my, my kingdom spouse, so like your happiness can't come from me, right? And vice versa, because as soon as I mess up, that's what my parents have told me my whole life, putting somebody on a pedestal anyways, because now you're making that person an idol. When we wake up, first thing should be on our mind is Jesus. First thing that we should be worried about is Jesus. That other man going to get your kingdom spouse's attention. If you clicked on this, like, yes, sis, like, no, nah, that ain't what I meant. <laughs> and that's not what God meant. And I think I've told y'all that before. Like, it was one of the times we were spending time. And then I was like, dang, I miss my man. And it was Jesus because it was weird because I was so used to only spending time with him. Yes, I love my kingdom spouse. Yes, I love spending time with them. But at the end of the day, Jesus needs to come first. Jesus needs to be who you love more. Neither one of y'all need to love the other one more than you love Jesus. And, we, and, and it's important in spending that time too. First thing in the morning, I like the days where I'm not pressed. Like, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's telling when I haven't had that time because I, I really do feel like I'm more annoying towards him. I know I don't be annoying, but I feel like I'm more pressed. Like, you know, like what you doing when we doing this, 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 this. I'm not pressed like that when I'm like chill. Like I be chilling when I be spending time with Jesus. Like I don't be worried about it. And I like it better that way because then I'm trying to do too much in my own strength and my own power. And I'm, and you don't ever want to, I would hate for that man to make me feel like he was trying to play God in my life. So I don't want to make him feel like that either. You get what I'm saying? So, but the other man going to get your kid and attention. I didn't mean go out here and like start like posting another man and, and doing all that because that probably will get their attention in the 
bad way because we're already trying to fight through trust issues, doubt, fear, do they really love me, all of that. But I mean, like the other man, Jesus, is going to get your spouse's attention. One, in the leading and the directing and the like, hey, come on. But also in the, uh, okay, like they got Jesus in the rightful place, which is means they're not trying to put me in that place because if your kingdom spouse is trying to put you in that place it's a level of perfection they're going to be putting on you that you will never be able to reach like your kingdom spouse cannot be your source of joy and peace and love okay and so um the last word which is going to go into this and i was going to wait till tomorrow but i was like no let me go ahead and do these today the last word though like it's the same thing that I'm saying that you got to be in that place in order to even pour into that place. So pour, pour from that place. So everything I just said still stands. It's still true, but you're going to be the best wife be, to your kingdom spouse because Jesus is in his rightful place because you're allowing Jesus to pour into you like that. So you're able to pour from that place. But a lot of us, we be avoiding that place because like, no, no, spouse, 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 mm -mm. focusing on Jesus is what's going to bring the spouse and not, and no, I'm going to pretend like, no, like legitimately. And same for your husband. You want him to have Jesus ahead of you, right? He's in that place to be poured into by Jesus, then he can better pour into you. And y'all will be do a better job of pouring into each other and y'all's relationship. Okay. So the other man gonna get your kingdom spouse attention, but the other man is Jesus. Okay. So I'll let y'all.